much. Okay. 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 Hello, hello, hello. After a small pause, we continue with uh, Better Than Us series. And we are at episode eight, right? So pretty long way is done. <laughs> and let's see, do we have a new character? Oh, help us, please. Uh, Yuhi, friend of Sergei Panin and witness to his killing at the hand of Arisa. I actually don't know. Was he a witness or he just saw a dead body? He was a witness. He was a witness? Of course. Yeah, so we have seen him already. It's a kind of, they were two friends, right? Kind of workers. How we call this? Blue? Blue collars? I don't know. Yeah, blue collar workers, co-workers. Yeah. Co-workers. So when Sergei was killed by Arisa, right? Because he wasn't registered as a user, <laughs> as we remember. <laughs> and Yuri was his friend. Okay. Let's see the questions that are prepared by teacher Lee. Okay, this one. Do we have a volunteer for the first question? Please raise your hand if you want to. Next one, please. Yeah, at the close fitting session at Kronos HD, what precaution does Victor uh, surreptitiously, <laughs> surreptitiously, surreptitiously take to ensure his safety from Arisha? Uh, Arisa. So um, they uh, implanted a ship in the back of her head uh, just in case she wanted to do any aggressive action against them uh, they can shut her down uh, specifically they are somehow classified to be the enemies uh, for Arisa or Arisa's family mm -hmm. Do you know the explanation to Arisa why, they, why she needs these chips this, this chip what they say to her? What they told? Uh, uh, this is uh, the way she can get in the conference uh, mm. without paying, maybe <laughs> free free ticket. <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about this motivation? Is it uh, sounds like good enough? I I thought that the um, when he said so, he was talking to that little kid there because. This doesn't make sense if he uh, told Orisa we're going to implant a ship in your body to let you in uh, with no uh, money. This wouldn't make any sense because she is registered to be uh, one of the, um, uh, you know, the bots of the competition. So what I ticket? Personally, I find this just ridiculous, right? So yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of explanation, you know, that... But it worked, right, for Arisa because she is a bot, right? So it's like, I don't know. She, no, she didn't. No, this did, didn't work with with Arisa. Uh, it worked with uh, with Allah. Mm -hmm. I don't know how dumb she is to uh, to believe such a thing, but she said okay, and because she's registered to be a family, uh, so when she says okay, so Arisa has to obey, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I understood, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, very funny. So, I, yeah, you I, I can see security for humans, but for robots that are supposed to be safe, right? Why would you mm -hmm. need a ticket for a robot? You know, you're not worried about robot terrorism or robot, you know, killing, you know, killers. So, yeah, a little bit hokey to me for a robot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah not yet, at least, right? We don't have robot terrorists just now. <laughs> so let's, what we'll have later, right? So how we call this money? Can I say, uh, what is what's the word? Admittance or something like this, teacher? So yeah, admi admission ticket or the cost of admittance. Yeah. Admittance. Cost of admittance or admission tickets. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, yeah. Good. Okay, let's go further. Further. <laughs> I forgot how to say that. Further, probably. Uh, number two. Sergey, it's your topic, right? Drunk people. No? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's my favorite topic. Please explain who the drunk, who who the drunk on the bench outside George's apartment is, and what role he plays on this episode. Uh, to be honest, I can't I can't explain because I watched uh, this episode uh, from Telegram 
from teacher Lee, it was sound a little bit uh, for understanding. I can't understand what they uh, what's happening. You you had difficulties with sound, right? Yeah. Yeah, teacher, 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 I noticed that last recording was a little bit uh, lower in, in volume. I don't, okay. know. I don't know why, but it was really hard to, to see. But okay. they have subtitles, right? Should have subtitles, yeah. Sometimes the volume is low, and I, I actually use a, a program to, to boost it up higher. So I must have forgotten to boost the volume on that one. My fault. Yeah, maybe yeah, thank you very much for, for this recordings anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sergey, so, so, yeah, I can help you. You know, so this drunk guy, it was um, Yuri, right, that we just discussed. So mm -hmm. he's a friend of Sergey. Ah, I remember. I remember that moment. And uh, George, <laughs> met, uh, George, George met uh, Yuri on the bench, uh, and uh, he asked him, uh, as I understand that, that Yuri uh, was the enemy of uh, the first uh, victim uh, of uh, Arisa. And uh, as we understood in the first episode, Yuri uh, has to be killed by Arisa. But uh, this Georgia met him uh, without problem. And I don't, I, to, to be honest, I didn't understand this moment because uh, I remember that uh, Yuri uh, has been killed. It was not Yuri, it was Sergei, who, the one who was killed. Sergei is uh, one of these co-workers. So as far as I understand the question, number two, so we should mention that now, at this exact moment, George learned from this drunk guy that Arisa can kill people. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I understand. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, I, yeah I, saw, I, I saw it with my eyes. She's a killer. <laughs> yeah. It's something you know, something interesting, right? So you just <laughs> keep this robot, kept this robot to you know, to care of ch your children, right? And now you learn that it's a killer robot. <laughs> so some some new information. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. Okay, number three. What sounds would you like, right? Yeah, well, George learns that I saw light to him and well, um... And that she did indeed kill and kill humans. Yeah. The primary worry, uh, I don't remember the exact words he said, but I can I can assume that uh, he is worried about if she can uh, kill a human, then she can kill anybody. Because mm -hmm. uh, the first love uh, you know, robot is... Uh, she, uh, no, he should worry, uh, obey the humans, but should not kill any humans. So that is the primary rule. But she broke the law and she started to lie also. So, um, which is a unique, you know, uh, trait of humans. Uh, so, uh, yeah. she adapted that too. So um, now they cannot predict that whatever she says, uh, it's it can be true or or a lie. So. It's hard to, uh, you know, predict her moves, and even with the light, she can even, you know, uh, fool the light detector too because she is a robot. So everything goes in the negative terms. So she, yeah. he is worried about his family's health. I think. Mm -hmm. yeah, George cannot. George cannot trust her anymore, right? So mm -hmm. because he learns this, and Tichely gave us a hint. So. The main concern was about Allah, right? So the rest are registered, uh, registered as uh, users of uh, Arisa, but not Allah. So Allah now is a. She was a competitor before, but now we know, right, right, that um, Arisa kills her competitor. <laughs> so it's a, it's a tense moment. Yeah, yeah. They, they both want to be the mother of the family, so they have a conflict now. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, number four, Bobo, please. Explain what Bass intends to do with his local chapter of the liquidators without Gleb's knowledge. Mm -hmm. First of all, what is local chapter? What uh, some moment of life. Local chapter of the liquidators. Yes, like kind of a part of the history, right? So the episode, I think. Mm -hmm. Am I correct? Well, there's there's many groups. There, there's many independent groups of liquidators. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we, we call any one the local chapter it's like a subdivision or something <laughs> yeah good 
like a like a terrorist cell. Okay. You have different terrorist cells, and they don't really talk to each other. They they operate independently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. understand. Oh. Um. Uh. Bas suspected that Gleb killed Kirill, mm -hmm. and he thought that Gleb is not no longer uh their commander, and they will. They will uh, act on their own. Mm -hmm. So without uh, getting approval from them, right? So they can, they have wanted some independence, right? Okay, let's see what teacher Lee wrote as a hint. Let's see what we missed. Um, he intends to stage a liquidated incident as a tender competition, right? That's that part we, we lost. So we remember that the video event, right? Competition. And these liquidators, subdivision, they are, they are going to make some incidents, right? Yeah, he wants publicity. You know, he wants to do something, you know, terrorist in, in on TV, you know, and when the whole country can see it. So he's he's greedy for fame. Yeah. Well, what do you think? Is, is it good for Gleb or not? Would, let me rephrase, would Gleb approve this action? No, he wouldn't. Why? Because Gleb is working for Vic, mm -hmm. and Vic is uh, Vic wants to to win the tender. Yep. So actually, it's against Gleb's uh, motivation, interest. Right. Good. Yeah. Hello, Gerard. Long time no see you. It's good to have oh. you. <laughs> so, would you like to, uh, Gerard? If you watch the episode, would you like to please to participate? Answer number five. Problem with you. Uh, number five. Explain the role that the Striga plays in this episode. I think Striga is the friend, <laughs> Vas friend, mm -hmm. Vas colleague. So I think Striga wants to replace him. Yeah. Leaving the the you know the the liquidator group. Uh -huh. He's the cell of liquidator group. Uh, let, let, let us up the guy that kills, tries to kill Bars. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I don't know. Ah, okay. I think I think the I reason that Clep wants to kill Bars because a Striga rat on him. Or oh, you know, told told Clep about uh, something wanted to do bars. I don't know. I don't remember exactly. I think it was in the last episode. Well, mm -hmm. Bars is angry at Gleb because Gleb killed Carol. Carol was one of Bars' um, group. Mm -hmm. So Bars yeah, yeah. was very insulted that Gleb would kill one of his own members and not even bother to tell him. <laughs> so Bars and Gleb now are very at odds with each other. Yeah, and Astiga likes Sana. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, what I learned about Striga is that he is not a pleasant guy, right? And he was power hungry, probably he was not uh, happy, wasn't contented with uh, um, bars before, right? So he immediately became to be a despicable person, right? So <laughs> like in a click, power corrupts, right? <laughs> so, yeah. so that happens. So the hint meeting with Gleb, Striga goes to Gleb and says, you know, Boris is not going to listen to you anymore. Boris is going to go do his own thing. He's going to become a wild card, a rogue. And so Striga told this to Gleb. So now Gleb needs to get rid of Boris as a liability. <laughs> no. Is there any special kind of way of describe when, you know, when you're an employee, goes over your hands to your boss like through the boss through the level to tell something bad about the manager it's backstabbing we'd call it backstabbing by going over your supervisor yeah it's considered bad in in business yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So. and the military yeah, <laughs> everywhere really <clears throat> yeah so so another hint was there was an incident with jana so what happened there and then what is the ultimate fate of Striga? Okay. 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 Uh, Striga wanted, was about to rape Zana. Yeah. But then 
bus came with a lot of blood in his body and was very mad at the trigger <laughs> and killed him with a pebble or with a rock and I don't know why, what. Yeah. But that's very violent. By only, I don't know how he was. So Bas was injured, but not too much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know he should. Yeah, he should have been worse off than that. I, yeah. I, I don't see how he could be alive. But I could terminate him. <laughs> yeah. So Striga had almost gotten Boris killed. So when Boris saw Striga trying to rape his his sister, it's like you're dead, buddy. You're dead. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Let's talk about this. So how Gleb tries to kill Barso? What was the way? Mesma, do you remember? Can you help us? Oh, yes, sir. Um, when they, uh, when um, Bart w went to Gleb to discuss uh, why he killed Kirill, because he was uh, one of his best men, uh, Gleb said that uh, it is getting out of control and he knows too much and this has to end. <clears throat> so he told he told him that Bard himself is no longer needed mm -hmm. because uh, he's uh, getting out of control and uh, getting out the, of the plan. He's getting the liquidator for for uh, for two uh, for a way of the plan set by Kronos. So he said, I'm going to kill you now. And he shot him, but I don't know, he missed the shot. He shot him on his hand, uh, arm, maybe, and buried him alive. And uh, it, was a, it was a Superman that he came up of the hole and was alive and had a fight <laughs> after that. Uh, but he didn't die eventually. Sergey, do you want to add something? In my opinion, uh, this event uh, was not professional because uh, Gleb has to be killed uh, absolutely 100%. Uh, uh, Barth, uh, he has to uh, kill on the uh, body and the second uh, bullet has to uh, shot on the hand, on the head because yeah. it's professional. But uh, I think uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit, uh, not, 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 not professional, a little bit artificial. Uh, it was, uh, uh, it was to do it for continuing to, uh, the plot with uh, Bart. But at the moment when he uh, went out from the uh, hole, look for me. But do yeah. it was a Kill Bill movie, right? Do you remember, guys? Kill, Kill Bill when <laughs> when she made yeah. up. Yeah. I can I can see it. If Gleb wanted to maximize Bars's terror mm -hmm. by wounding him and then burying him alive so that he would suffocate underground, I could see that. But if I did that, I would have a guy stand there and make sure he didn't dig his way out. <laughs> come on. I mean, come on. Yeah, it, it was exactly yeah. my point. So if, I even don't think that he stood him. I think that he was just a kind of tried to, what's this, this word, was confuse him, to make a kind of sound uh, uh, close to the air, to just to confuse him for a moment and then dig him. It was my impression. So it was not a real kind of attempt to shoot him. Yeah. But, but that that doesn't seem to fit Gleb's character to me. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, Gleb, you know, Carol killed a guy. Boom. Okay, let's get on. Let's go have breakfast. You know, come on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. To, to have a risk, right? To have a risk for what? For for knowing that someone suffered. Mm -hmm. So it's not something good, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to say that uh, according to the character of Gleb that we used to to see. Uh, he doesn't give threats. He just kills. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Um, <clears throat> that was that was a mistake from his side because he knows that Bars is a rebellious character. If he uh, went out there alive, he will he will be back yeah. for revenge. Yeah. So he didn't do that for threat. No, I don't think so. Okay. So we don't agree with the director of this movie on this point. <clears throat> 
it should be done different. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 And I, I, do you remember once we had a movie Argentina, right? Something like this, and I like it. The line from this movie. The line was like, some reporter was in danger, and some people called him and threatened them him to kill him, and he said, "I don't care. The one who killed never called." You know. So, <laughs> and I like the line. <laughs> The one who kills never calls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number seven. Rasans, would you like to help us with number seven? Yeah, just read the flashback that they explained how one way Svetlana ended up that Boris bought. Mm. Boris is a child. Uh, we can Svetlana. Yeah, well, Svetlana is a... Is a wife of a Vic. Vic is a manager of this corporation. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And Boris and now, is their child. Yeah, yeah, child. Yeah. Okay. Um, she, um, I think the child is dead, I think. Um, so he, uh, she decided to make a bot. Is that right? Uh, yeah, so what the, we had a flashback, right, in the movie, so they were rem, recalling past events, and Svetlana, I remember, was psychically unstable, right, because they they lost the child, and oh, we decided, do you remember they had some kind of baby robots, right, or child robots at that time? Yeah. But Varlamov mentioned that. Okay, let's yeah. let's see this uh, hint the teacher Lee left us so we can see it. Yeah, actually, I did not know that it's called straight jacket, right? The thing with the sleeves uh, behind mm -hmm. your back. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why we call it straight no. jacket. Yeah. <laughs> but I thought straight. it's a different uh, lady. Uh, she looked completely different in the outfit. <clears throat> The hair and everything. So I thought she, it is yeah. just a different girl. Mm -hmm. She she used to be blonde, uh -huh, yes. and 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 now she wears the black wig. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, so more. Oh, I did not notice it. Uh, So there's really kind of three parts to this. First, she kind of goes crazy and is depressed. <clears throat> yeah. And the and and Victor's father-in-law threatens him, says, You better take care of my daughter, or you're out, you know. <laughs> Teacher, you wrote that Maslov must kill the boy to somehow create the body's bot. Remember that Victor, remember the case that Varlamov is obsessed with. Yeah, like there was a time in the boy. past mm -hmm. when children were kidnapped and went missing. And for, it didn't really explain it, but somehow Kronos took those kids and made robots from them. They killed the kids and made robots from them. And then they sold the robots to the distraught families to replace their missing kids. So it didn't really say why the kids had to die, but they took the kid's face and made a robot from it. So they did the same thing with Boris. They made a robot of Boris to replace the missing kid. And mm -hmm. that kind of restored her sanity a little bit. Well, so so, what we learn from this, we learn that this, so we learn, we get a confirmation that they did something, you know, black deals for this first one. Another one, we know that uh, Vic is using his corporation for personal purpose, right? Yeah. So I don't know what, is it corruption, right? How we call it, probably. Corruption. So I, <clears throat> I think he's trying to, again, create a new use for his robots. Hey, look, mm -hmm. our robots can replace your missing kids. So you never have to lose a child again. 
Well, so it's a, another mm. popular use or a way to sell robots. But it's Group. so evil, right? So I can't even imagine the advertisement of this. You know, so telling people that you know we will replace your child, it's something out of the out, out of the line. Yeah, but people would pay a lot of money to get their child back, right? So you could probably yeah. charge a premium price. That's what, <laughs> can, can you imagine such an advertisement on TV? You know. You lost a child? No problem. Just call 999 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yes. I would accept a child like that, specifically if they are quiet yeah. and clean. And <laughs> You know, we have that now in a way. When someone dies, they can take recordings from their lives and actually give you like an Alexa device that will use the voice of your dead loved one and you can talk to it and chat with it to me that's that's really sordid you know yeah. someone did that to my uh, father's picture you know and um, it made it uh, as if um, turning it into a video without chat, speaking a chat, no a chat bot you can talk to it in your dead dead father's voice yeah it wasn't it wasn't nice at all oh yeah well no, you can do that you can do that today you can Resurrect your loved one as a chat bot. It'll have their voice and everything. Oh, weird. No, if they are a gun, they are a gun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's impossible. Uh, it's like, you know, it's like a have an injury that you never cure. You know, you want it to be open, you know, forever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wow. Okay, let's let's find some, some pleasure. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> yeah. Sergey, could you help us with the next one, number eight? Describe the, the incident where Arisa and Ala drive <clears throat> to the mall in, the, in their car. Uh, Arisa and Ala had uh, the conversation when Arisa identified uh, that uh, Ala has uh, emotional breath and uh, she asked, What do you uh, worry about? What? And uh, not, and uh, maybe I'm, uh, I'm worried only. Uh, could, could you? Could you go to the uh, shop and to buy me something? And uh, uh, Allah sent uh, Arista to the central shop, uh, to the supermarket, and uh, uh, he drove uh, alone uh, without Arista, only with uh, his daughter, her daughter. Yep. And uh, I think that Allah uh, scared uh, Arisa because uh, he knew about the killing uh, skill of Arisa. That's why uh, he moved from her because he wanted to protect uh, her family mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from her. <laughs> yeah, so Allah actually was away for us, ran away, right, from Arisa just to to be to be more safe. I think. Teacher Lee, please explain uh, explain the uh, difference between scared and feared. Feared is not a word. Well, I guess it is. They're <laughs> the same same meaning. Mm -hmm. But we use scared, right? Most of the time. Scared is an ad. Well, they're both verbs and adjectives, but normally as an adjective, we use scared. We mm -hmm. would never say a feared person. You could, but. Normally we say you're scared. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. If you're a feared person, you cause fear in others. If you're a scared person, you feel the fear. Mm -hmm. so, so the difference is that scare refers to you. Fear goes outward to someone else and makes them scared. Yeah, yeah I think it's understandable. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Scared it's about you. I'm scared, right? I'm scared. And you are feared, right? It means that you are dangerous or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a monster is feared. A person is scared. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, the emotion goes in different directions. Yeah. yeah. It's so easy to make a mistake in the yeah. second language. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. And just to change, you know, the meaning completely to the opposite. Yeah. 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 That's easy. Okay. Boba, number nine, please. Uh, what happens when killer Ahisa returns, later returns to the apartment and Tala answers the door? 
Yeah, why we call Alisa a kid? <laughs> Because uh, she was a killer. Okay. She's cool. kind of viewed as a different robot now, right? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Do you remember what happened? Uh, 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 knocked the, go the door and Allah uh, opened the door. Mm -hmm. And she she saw his and she had a talk, and Allah said her to to go away mm -hmm. and don't do not uh, come back because they are frightened of him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know you know what? So uh, say and tell two verbs and they're different. So tell you. Uh, you know, the tell needs, you know, a uh, person, right? She tell her, right? But she say her, it's not correct. So she says, we can say, right, without her. Correct. T say is not directed at anybody. Tell is directed at a person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the irony of this. In the car, she says, she wants to get rid of Arisa. So she says, oh, I need you to go buy me soap. So Arisa <laughs> goes to buy the soap and she drives away real fast. And then knock, knock, knock. Here's your soap. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah. Now the, uh, the family is scared and Alisa is feared. <laughs> exactly. Family is scared, Alisa is feared. <laughs> Good. <laughs> nice. So, and Allah also tells Sonia, right, about that Alisa is not good. And George already knows, right? So, George already knows. So, everyone is aware now of what they have as a robot. Okay. I'm not sure, I'm not sure about Igor at this point. I can't remember if Igor knows or not. Yeah, yeah. We'll come to Igor soon, right? We'll come to Igor soon. Let me see. Okay, number 10. George, would you like to answer number 10? Should you remember? The present? This okay, one. in the present, what does Victor learn by examining Boris Boots' video memories? Mm -hmm. uh, he finds out that Svetlana wanted to betray him. Yeah. Boots, yeah. He was planning to betray him and you know, <laughs> sabotaging the, the tender. Mm -hmm. I don't know in which way. And she, he takes she, Boris. She, she was giving him fake information about the tenders. <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah, let's think about it a little bit. So it's so dangerous right, to have a bot in your apartment because it's always like recording machine, right? No privacy anymore. So it's not only Vic who can, you know, watch this recording, but also who knows who, right? Police, corporation, everyone. So it's, yeah. it's strange. Yeah. It's, it's it's kind of I would not like to have this in my in my house, <laughs> but I have Alexa now, so I should not be worried anymore. <laughs> yes, yeah. you put Alexa on ca a camera to Alexa, you have that. Yeah, <laughs> you got it in your phone. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. And you know that Alexa has this uh, button to switch off the mic, right? They yeah. do that. They write we we care about your privacy. But that, there was an investigation that this button doesn't work. So, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that. Wow. Yeah, I read on some. I, I can people. believe it. <laughs> yeah. So it's so hard to believe any corporation now. And and you can buy a, a tablet that's called the Alexa Show. Yeah, I have and one. It, it, and it can do face to face, so it does have a camera, and it can listen and record. So watch out, Ivan. <laughs> Yeah, but you know this uh, device, Alexa Show, it has kind of a physical uh, I don't know, for this camera. Cover. Okay. Cover, yeah. okay. Does it work? <laughs> I don't know how to check. <laughs> Maybe this X-ray camera can see through the cover. Oh yeah. boy! Yeah, but I found this Alexa Show convenient. You know, when you uh, if your house is. It's like a camera. You you always can look on it if you want to, right? Yeah. See yeah. What is happening on? So it's yeah. it's FaceTime. It's like Apple's FaceTime, right? Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, you, you can call Skype from it if you want. Okay. Okay, number 11. Nesma, let's talk about okay. Varlamov a little bit. Yeah. What precaution does Varlamov take to keep Georgie and his family safe? Mm -hmm. uh, they remember that they wanted to, he wanted to find a, a reason, right? And uh, to keep the family alert, not to deal with her di directly. That's why they kept um, searching uh, for her in the neighborhood and asking everyone there, every shop maybe. Um, uh, I, I don't, I'm not sure if this is what you want me to say here. What I remember, it was some kind of alerting device with something. Oh, okay. Panic button. Panic button. Ah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Beep, yeah, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even Georgie wanted to try it at the moment. Yeah, yeah. But I can't see any use of this. What if well, she uh, stabs Allah, for example? It's gonna, that's yeah. why it's going to beep. It would only be yeah. good if you were running away from her. Beep, running <laughs> away. Beep, beep, running away. <laughs> yeah. but, but in general I like the idea of this panic device panic button you know for old people it's it can work right so sometimes people can step wrong in the bathroom or something yeah. so a lot of things it, can happen yeah this, this is real technology we have these today old people can wear them around their neck so if they fall and can't get up they can push the button and it'll call an emergency number yeah the Apple you know, they, watch uh, can do this Yep, Apple Watch. Yeah. Yeah. And iPhone, I know that iPhone now is calling emergency without your uh, approval. If you are in a car and he, his, oh, yeah. his uh, sensors detected a uh, hit. Car crash. Yeah. Wow. Some phones. Some phone, I don't know if Android does that yet, but I think I Apple mean, does. Apple, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hold on a second. Do, do you mean that iPhone is going to turn in its user to the police if they hit somebody? No, no, no. If you're in a car crash, if you're in a car crash okay. and, the and the phone stops suddenly, the phone says you've had a car crash. It will call the emergency number for you. Yeah, but you, mm. you know, actually, technically, Nesma is right. So let's say I hit someone by my car. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> yeah. Then phone will, uh, you know, call police and tell this. <laughs> A good point. I didn't hit anybody, officer. I didn't hit anybody. No. Your phone says you did at this time, at this location. That's a dead person at that location at that time. Yeah, I can no, it's, my own. It's, a, it's a valid and very interesting point. I did not think about it, but you know, it's, yeah. it helps police a lot. I, think. Yeah. I will point. never have an iPhone. <laughs> <sighs> One guy one guy was a hiker and he actually fell off of a cliff mm -hmm. and he landed and the phone actually called the emergency number for him mm -hmm. and they actually came and rescued the guy if not for that feature he would have died yep and you know iphone is good now last uh, kind of recent editions of iphone they can call using this uh, global satellite system so if you out of the signal let's say in the mountains they will use a satellite system to call the emergency so but you you cannot use it like deliberately <laughs> so right. it's only yeah. for emergency wow yeah cool good idea mm -hmm. yeah i remember apple introduced a feature kind of you know calling the emergency number in in case of getting into an accident, I think, mm -hmm. and it broke or so it breaks or something, it will make a call to an emergency number. I don't remember the exact reason, but uh, they made it like that. Yeah, yeah. it's a good idea. It's a good idea. I, 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 I hope Android will adapt all this, you know, so, because it's interesting one. Okay, let's go to the next one, number 12. Vasan, uh, could you help us with number 12? In Svetlana learns that Victor has found out about her part. What does she tell him? Mm -hmm. You open the shield. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, because she is the trump card and she she can use her influence, you know, uh, with uh, her dad's influence to pass the test, I think. So mm -hmm. without her help, uh, ah, no, I think she is the one who is going to present the um, 
event i think uh, uh, so that's why that without that she won't um, host that show and everything she, everything falls down mm -hmm. she did that so she would know the events in advance and could cheat and tell victor they're gonna uh you know you gotta be you gotta you gotta compete by cooking or by you know shooting or something like that so she did that to help him but she actually intended to tell him the wrong thing so that he would fail and i think it's a serious threat right so if you are if you have a lot of competitors so your pr is like everything right so if you if someone telling something bad about your product you you gone from the standard you will lose it so i think yeah. it's a serious threat so yeah okay number 13 sergey could you please uh not because i i i don't remember what the victor's mm -hmm. plan for okay no, no no problem we are here for this well can you cover number 13 if you remember uh what is victor's plan to force Vitoana cooperation yeah Okay. Ah, I, 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 I remember. He... <laughs> you recalled, right? Just now, right? I just recalled. No, can I say so? Mm -hmm. yeah. Kidnap the kid. <laughs> <laughs> so why it works? Why it works? Because she loves Boris. Yeah. Yeah. Because she thinks that Boris is a kind of a almost real son of her right because she's a basement of her mental condition and everything so it's a real kind of threat i would say okay and the last one uh gerard could you help us with number 14. short you're muted please what happens in victor's car at the end of this episode so mm -hmm. Victor uh, goes inside his car and in the seat behind him, there is uh, Arisa. Mm -hmm. And Arisa sees Victor as a threat for the family, George's family, and uh, wants to kill him, shocking him. But Victor has this remote that can stop Arisa. And luckily, <laughs> it works. Luckily for him, it works. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. had his own panic button <laughs> so he was a smart person who implanted this chip before right so it was a good idea to uh, and we mentioned this alexa show and everything you know the good thing about these devices that they uh warn you if someone in your house so they have this option now they have kind of a radar so <laughs> if you open the door they will tell you you know someone is here so we need wow. the same with the car <laughs> Wow, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, it a, it's kind of the new feature. Yeah. Okay, overall, Sergey, what do you think about this episode? Was it a good one? Was it worse than previous? In my opinion, uh, it's worse than the previous because the previous episode uh, was more effective, more active, uh, but this episode uh, included uh, more dialogues and uh, more understand not understandable movements uh, but we we have to combine this episode in 10 minutes on 10 15 minutes <laughs> yeah you know sometimes it happens with the long shows right so they need like kind of have a 12 episodes and the first three is brilliant you know they are dense they are full of action and then you have a fourth three you know that are not this that's kind of intense <laughs> nice one uh, actually, I was waiting for a twist in this episode uh, to happen, but nothing important happened. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, that they uh, now know that uh, Arisa uh, killed people. Uh, yeah, you know. Nothing was important. Yeah, yeah I, re I remember now I watched some show. I liked this a lot. It was Breaking Bad. Gerard, maybe you remember this. And there was uh, two episodes in the middle. They were kind of out of the low or out of the line. They were so slow, so not understandable. And I wondered what happened. And <laughs> later I found that it was a strike of uh, writers in the Hollywood. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so they, they actually have to make, you know, two episodes about <laughs> nothing. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, this strike may go another couple years. They're just killing. They're they're guaranteeing that AI is going to replace them. That's all they're doing. <laughs> yep, yep. I can believe this. Okay, actually, I, I agree with Sergey and with Nesma that this episode was less intense, but I think it's uh, kind of we learned a little bit more about the story, so we're moving forward mm-hmm. with the story. Definitely, we understand motivation of both and people and everything. But it, could it be more intense? I, I think so, right? So it could. This be. this episode mainly was about Arisa. Mm-hmm. Her, she's she's now different than in the first episodes. Yeah. Before she was a friendly presence, but now she's everyone knows she's evil. She can kill. Uh, you know, everyone's trying to use her or run away from her. So she's kind of alone now. Mm-hmm. So this is going to change the direction of the future episodes because Arisa's different now than in the beginning. Yeah, you're definitely right because now Arisa is kind of Alisa is kind of out. No one wants her. And she is definitely everyone knows the, her bad features, right? So it's a different story. Yeah. So yeah. so it's more unpredictable now. We we before we could kind of predict, but now with her being a rogue, we don't know what she's gonna do. Yep. Yes. Uh, so there is a there is a saying, right? Never put a rat into in the corner or something like this, right? Yeah, yeah, cornered rat, yep. And Teresa is now a cornered rat, as you should say it, yeah. 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 Okay, let's do some slides. Can we probably we can find something new here? Nice one. Would you please start? Oh yeah. Uh, is this when um when he knew the truth? I think when he was funny. confronting her, asking her that, uh, what's the the real purpose uh, about what she did with them or so? I think it's a flashback. Do you remember? It's the beginning, so they had a flash. No? Yeah, I think this is earlier when they're on friendly terms, I think. <clears throat> uh, so maybe he was checking on her, maybe, yeah, with the yeah. kid, robot kid. Yeah. Yeah. The, the decor decoration looks like a hospital to me. White and white. Yep. <laughs> cool. Yeah. yeah. It's funny that you notice that we, exactly right. This uh, people are black and everything is white. You know, so contrast, high contrast. Yeah. Yes. Sergey, would you like to listen? From this movie, I noticed one moment. Uh, then people richer, then they have more minimalistic uh, interior. Bla- <laughs> black and white. <laughs> Uh, when we uh, watch the first episode, and we can we we can we could see the interior uh, of George in uh, his previous uh, flat. It's a normal real flat with the other colors, uh, with the different uh, scenes, uh, with the paint, but it's a uh, uh, white, white and gray, and it's, it's look horrible. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I know. think uh, yeah. I think they didn't have a wild imagination of the future, <laughs> except for the robots, uh, decoration, uh, streets, yeah. people, clothes, everything was just normal to me. So yeah, the, the, the decoration yeah. is a little. Yeah. The, yeah, the, oh, wa- okay. the watch in the, the watch in the arm was kind of cool. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> Vesma, uh, do you want to live in this interior? Yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I have an answer for you. you know, so maybe rich people, they have so many rooms, you know, they, they get tired of decorating them. You know? so just, you know, just paint it white, you know, I'm a guy, I'm, I'm fine with this. <laughs> yeah. I, I, Ivan, what's sure. the, what, what's the yeah. white box on the wall at the upper left? Let me see what books upper left on the wall. Well, it, it looks like it's a fire alarm, alarm I think. A baby oh. camera, or no, 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 it's a fire alarm. Fire, so it's a sensor, sensor okay. that's uh, take care of the fumes. So, if there are fumes, it will start oh, a smoke, a smoke, a smoke detector or fire mm-hmm. detector. Okay, we put ours on the ceiling usually. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because the smoke's smoke's gonna go up, so ours are on the ceiling. So you put yours on the wall, okay? Yeah. 
I, I had once a funny event when in my hotel this thing got broken and I had a shower, you know, from the sailing for no reason. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, during the night, you know. <laughs> it was wow. So, so funny. <laughs> wow. Okay. 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 Sergey, it's yours, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I agree. I agree the moment because uh, it looks uh, more comfortable for me because we can see uh, different color, uh, different places. Uh, uh, and it looks realistic. But uh, for me, it uh, looks not realistic because it's very clear. Where mm -hmm. is the garbage? Uh, where is uh, some other people? Uh, we can see only one uh, piece of garbage is the uh, Yuri, but uh, uh, after some minutes uh, he uh, he will walk up. Yeah. And uh, we can see uh, the yard uh, in front of uh, uh, house, and we can see some fl uh, lights, uh, vertical uh, vertical cubes for light. And oh, uh, how, how we go? It's for plants, right? It's a place for plants. In, in Russia, we call it a clump, clump. I don't know how it's in English. So it's a kind of a thing, you know, something, some box or some kind of place that you make for plants. Yeah, it's just a, a wall, a, gar a walled garden, basically, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a raised garden. Yeah. Raised garden. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sorry for interruption. Yeah, from my, uh, from, uh, in my opinion, uh, this yard looks like a, uh, uh, rich yard for rich people because uh, in my city in other city uh we can see uh these plants this decoration uh only in the rich uh yards yes. uh, in the poor okay. yards we can I, see I, I only parking well, what do you think is it typical for moscow such a playground such a yard? no no it's too clean Yes. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> yes, uh, it's too clean. Yes, it's too clean, and we can see we can see some some cars. Uh, no cars. Yeah, no cars. It's impossible. <laughs> okay. Uh, the 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 semicircular bars are those like climbing bars for kids? Yeah, it's a playground. It's a playground. Okay. Playground. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. And this white pipe, you know what is this? It's a gas. Yes. It's, it's a gas, so we we like to cook on gas, so we have these pipes on every building in Russia. Okay, they're white. It's white, almost yellow on the on the wall. Can you yellow, see? yellow. Uh, we we marked uh, gas. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, yellow, okay. Yellow color. <laughs> okay, so so I always yellow. I always kind of mm, scared of these uh, pipes because. They're dangerous, actually, right? Because they can blow up, and if someone yeah. misbehave or something, and the pressure of gas in such tubes, it's very high. So it's, okay, uh, it, okay. It, we, and, yeah. Yeah, we use low pressure gas in our bigger pipes, I think. But yeah. okay, yeah, all right, good. Okay, so well, yeah, why okay, Yuri has, has an X here? <laughs> <laughs> An X. Look what George is trying to get. The two, right? Two. You know, hammer. You know, hammer is to nail. Uh, uh, hammer is for nailing, right? And this X for splitting wood in chop. <laughs> Uh, I think uh, he he uh, drank vodka and he want to kill somebody. Yeah, I think it's interesting, you know, but it has a huge cultural reference. You know, the most famous uh, book in Russia describes the killing with an X. <laughs> so it's, it's a, you know, if you want to, to throw a guy, a desperate guy who is going to kill someone, he will have an X, I think. Okay. Because we have, the, uh, because we uh, were educated and uh, we read... Uh, uh, one book by Do Dostoevsky, Dostoevsky. He, exactly. and that Dostoevsky instructs us how you uh, you can kill somebody, especially grand <laughs> grandmother. <laughs> Use this device for killing somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, very it's, it's, it's wow. even even hard to explain, but it's a kind of you know it's kind of an astronaut on the slide, so it's an, a joke, you know, implanted joke. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, we use knives, but you guys use axes. Okay, <laughs> cool. All right. <laughs>
Okay, let's go fuser. Bosan, um, would you like this to describe this one? Uh, this is uh, the uh, talking about the dress. And they are about to go in, uh, going to present her in this outfit. And Allah didn't like that, like the dress. She wanted to change the dress. And it's kind of. Um, It's nothing as just the special room. I would mention two things at least. So first of all, it's you know this transparent chair, right? So it looks like from made from glass. I yeah. would afraid to sit on it. <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> and another one, you know, this mm, piece of cloth, hand half chair, or how we call it, that lady put on the Arisa's hand. It seems so Russian for me, so we have this uh, kind of. Uh, do, do you understand? Is this a kind of a, what Arisa has on on her he head? We call it the scarf. Scarf. Okay, scarf. So uh, it's uh, it's kind of hijab. It's hijab even. <laughs> okay, it's a, okay, it's a hijab Russian version, you know. So we yeah. <laughs> we have open face, but you know, it's real has a historic and cultural um, thing. So. In old Russia, in Tsar time, uh, unmarried lady cannot show her hair to stranger. So that's use they use this uh, scarf. But after getting married, you know, no restrictions anymore. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> that's why we have a lot of pictures with lady with this uh... in the old days. Okay. We didn't have that to my knowledge in America. <laughs> yeah, it was like two centuries ago. So not not a case now. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes, yeah. Uh, you know, girls, they like fashion, they like to pretend, they uh, know mm -hmm. the traditions and everything, so they use it. Okay, cool. Good. Okay, notice well. notice that, that Victor looks very relaxed. Oh, cool, yeah. <laughs> but Maslow, Maslow looks very cautious. <laughs> <laughs> Different mood, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What, what I think is weak, weak in the story, it's Allah's participants. So Allah is nobody for the story, in my opinion. So Allah has no use. So why she's here, I don't understand. It's just a yeah. weak, weak point, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's find something else. Uh, Vova, do you remember what is happening here? <laughs> uh, Vahlamov is checking on uh, Yuhi at the hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, you is... uh, uh, well, is he sick? It's ah, not, sick yeah. But it's probably not sick, right? It's probably injured, right? You are sick if you have uh, some kind of infection, right? Mm -hmm. But he probably has a trauma, I think, but I don't remember this. And do you know, do you know this device on the on the pole? White pole with two jars or bot bot bottles. I mean. no. We call them IV bottles, mm -hmm. and it's it's used to uh, inject right in your blood uh, some chemicals. Uh, Usually sugar water. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. To Would hydrate you... keeps you hydrated. Yeah. Do you call it glucose, teacher? Yeah, glucose. Yeah. yeah, I was about to ask, do you call it uh, sugar water? Or... It's it's glucose. The science name is glucose. I remember but... that we call it a biological dissolve or something like this. So it's kind of ah okay. uh, the salty one, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It, may, it may have some salt in it, saline solution. Mm -hmm. Uh, but its main purpose is the the water keeps you hydrated in case you can't drink. Sugar gives you a little energy, mm -hmm. and the salt is needed for your body to function properly. So yeah. they put whatever your body needs in there, and they can add, you know, maybe some vitamins or a shot solution for painkiller. So they can add stuff to it, but. I call it sugar water. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I think it's a good, a good explanation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Okay, and what about this one, Gerard? Could you help us? Okay, this is uh, where Oleg Gleb wants to kill Vars. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you, I, I saw, the, I watched the episode twice, and at the beginning, there's a moment that, that we can see the robot already digging the hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this place is. This place. Uh, just a, house? Yeah, yeah, just a backyard to some house, some kind of yeah, thing. Put a barbarian, you know, or something murder in, your, in the garden of your house. You know, <laughs> if, if you know beforehand, you know, that you you need to kill this guy, people always take the corpse and uh, get it away, you know, away of your house because you are incriminated dearly if someone finds out. Yeah. Uh, I think it's so obvious. It's, it's too obvious. <laughs> yeah. But can you see? How do you like to meet with? Yeah, I was going to say you meet with someone at night, and there's an open grave right where you meet. You know, <laughs> I would start becoming very suspicious. <laughs> Another thing, Lob doesn't use a silencer for the gun. You know, everybody. <laughs> it's not the isolated oh, house in the middle of the field or the countryside. <laughs> yeah, no silencer. No, it doesn't have much sense that anybody could see that. <laughs> could have yeah, seen so that. Open grave, it's kind of a, not a pleasant uh, icebreaker, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> What's the hole for? Oh, you'll find out soon. <laughs> oh, God, terrible. Yep. Yep. But there's two guys, Globs, and who is the, the other guy? But. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, Boris. Boris meets Gleb at an open grave. Mm, okay. If, if I was Boris, I would I would start backing away and, and say, "We'll meet later." <laughs> oh. And the robot is uh, uh, grasping a shovel. Yeah. <laughs> and a robot robot looks like made of gold, right? Yeah, yeah like like three like CPO, three three yeah. CPO for Star, Star Wars. Wars. Yep. And uh, later, there's a, a a bulldozer robot. I think that's a different ro robot. Yep, that operates a bulldozer. <laughs> yeah, but it's very convenient to have a robot for such a burden, right? Not to dig this hole. Yeah. That's right. Vasans, please. Yeah, I like. I uh, want to say, you know, um, such robots will be very helpful to cover up the crime human commit yeah yeah nobody would uh, no, uh, dare to uh, do such thing uh, you know a burial ground. <laughs> yeah did these robots have the three laws ivan i can't remember that okay. because w one of the the law number two is a robot cannot let another human be injured Mm -hmm. So if this robot were to see Gleb try to shoot and bury the other guy by the three laws of robotics, it would not allow that human to be harmed. Yep, yep, yep. So this robot didn't follow the three laws as we know them. This <laughs> robot looks, uh, looks so dumb to understand the three laws. It just uh, makes, yeah. uh, you know, it just, yeah. uh, what was the word? Makes holes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it just follows orders. That's all it does. Yeah. Yeah. And you know the overall, overall background, all these white boxes and this uh, fence make me think that it's a construction site or something. So it's not a re not a uh, ready house yet. So probably uh, nobody uh, there, a ghost city like in China being <laughs> built, but nobody living there yet. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, who knows? Okay, uh, so nice conversation as always. I think let's call it a day. <laughs> let's see what we'll have on next week, right? Maybe more action, more killing from bots or something. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. It was good to see you. Thank you, Teacher Lee, for everything. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. Have a good day.